I'll talk about all the things that is not to be spoken. I thought there's something not, there's something amiss. And I went to a, you know, a fertility specialist. So this time there was a detailed scan and to find out what is uh, the problem. That's when I came to know of certain conditions in my body that I, ha I had never known existed. Something called endometriosis, adenomyosis, and there is no treatment for that condition. And with that condition in your uterus, it is very difficult to conceive. It's almost close to nil. I told Guru doctor said, congratulations. Both of us were walking in the mall as, I mean, thinking that we are going to become parents. Yeah, and uh, uh, the next test, it did not go up higher. And in the next test, it stuck, got stuck there. And in the next test, it started coming down. So it, it just feels weird. You just don't know where you are. How many attempts did you? I had four, I mean, uh, three unsuccessful and one successful. It is not worth it if you do not have a supportive partner. It's not worth it because it is not your journey alone. And you are not in a mission to prove that I am a woman only when I'm able to do it, conceive. Even with pregnancy, the, there, there, are, there is body shaming and uh, there, there were people who were writing because for the last, for the last uh, couple of months that I did not speak out, there were people who would write that even I was pregnant along with you, I delivered and I've lost all the weight. See, you are a hero. I mean, you like, you know, a celebrity, you are not able to lose the weight. That why so soon, why you will not be able to give uh, uh, Liana the love that uh, she uh, is, uh, you know, she deserves and uh, you are, you did it too early. You, I mean, you were too much in a hurry and, uh, you know, um, you were too desperate. So all these kind of things I have heard. Because the person sitting with me is family. And she's just started a family of her own and is going to have another edition sometime very, very soon. Presenting Devina Banerjee in conversation with me only on Bollywood Bubble. Hello. Thank you, Nayan. I have to tell you now, I can say whatever I want to because um, genuinely, um, I always say this that you you and Guru have given me a family and a home here. And I feel so proud of you, Debbie. Um, because I have been through that journey with you and I know that you are a fighter and you've never given up. And finally, after years, there's a dream that both of you had seen so many years ago, which is slowly, slowly taking shape. Um, a lot of people will admire you for embracing motherhood, but very few actually know the entire journey behind it. It's been years of um, struggle and it's been years of uh, being at it, you know, the hustle also. When did you actually plan and when did you actually start? So to start with, I think like everybody else, I came to Mumbai with a dream to do something out here in Mumbai. And uh, I mean to, I mean have a career of my own, and in that dream there was no space for you know a family or like a baby because it was still considered a taboo until of late, very very uh, late that all the. Uh, top heroines they are embracing motherhood and it is making it loud and clear and it is inspiring a lot of people that yes you can have a baby uh, along with having a career but just a few years back it wasn't uh, the same so it was never in my uh, agenda itinerary i would say <laughs> so uh, but uh, after after a long time of me and Gurmeet being together, that's when we thought that it's high time, I think we should start a family. But when we think to ourselves is not the, might not be the right time for God to think uh, in the similar pattern. And uh, it, it one, one and a half year went like that and we were like, it's just not working out. 
and that's when I mean the, the way you said I am a person who is like who wants to be at it who wants to just do it if I have to do it now let's do it right now I can't procrastinate yeah so I thought okay fine if we are planning if we are planning let's just let's not lay back and plan ki hoga hoga nahi to nahi hoga wali baat let's uh, let me go to a doctor and find out so uh, I went to a doctor and uh, like a normal gynecologist and she saw and she was like yeah everything is fine you can you can like come back later you have all the time of your life i thought there's something not there's something amiss and i went to a you know a fertility specialist so this time there was a detailed scan and to find out what is uh, the problem that's when i came to know of certain conditions in my body that i ha- i had never known existed something called endometriosis adenomyosis i i did not even know the meaning or the spelling of it and i was like what does that mean and uh, because we have always heard of pcod pcos yeah. we it's there there are products available over the counter for pcod pcos but what is endometriosis and adenomyosis it's like the bap of uh all you know the fertility mm. problem yeah. and uh 85 to 90% of women above 30 has uh this condition and uh, i'm not kidding and no, go, but people don't know about it happy uh, it's not spoken about yeah. so it's not that people don't know it's not spoken about ki अगर वक्त रहते अगर इन माई इन आर ट्वेंटीज वी कम टू नो बिकॉज वी नो दैट इट इज इट इज पॉसिबल टू कंसीव इन द थर्टीज इट इज पॉसिबल टू कंसीव इन आर फोर्टीज बट वॉट इफ यू हैव दीज कंडीशन बिकॉज ये कंडीशन के बिना हो सकता है आर बॉडी इज केपेबल बट एटी फाइव टू नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ वीमेन अबव थर्टी हैज एंड देर आर मैनी वीमेन अब बिलो थर्टी ऑल्सो हैज राइट नाउ आई नो बिकॉज आर सो मेनी पीपल हु राइट टू मी आफ्टर आई हैव स्पोकन अबाउट इट दे आर इन देर ट्वेंटीज एंड दे हैव एंडोमेट्रियोसिस सो इट्स नॉट अनकॉमन एंड इट्स लाइक सो मैनी वीमेन अराउंड दे हैव दिस कंडीशन एंड पीपल कंसिडर आई मीन डॉक्टर्स कंसिडर इट होता है बिकॉज दे हैव सीन इट सो मच या they have seen it so much and there is no treatment for that condition and with that condition in your uterus it is very difficult to conceive it's almost close to nil matlab only if god wishes to but so, when you when you actually when you get to know all this how did you take it did did it, did it break you i felt like a i felt as if my body was failing me I mean, there are so many things in life that you can do with your, you know, with your with your push, with your mental strength. Okay, I have to achieve something. I will do it. I'll wake up early. I will not eat a certain food. I will, you know, work out hard. I will have a certain body. But what is happening inside of your body? It's it's just out of your control, and you feel you feel you feel your body is failing you. I mean, uh, whatever I was at, I was if if I was alone, if I were driving alone, uh, I would I would talk to myself. I would tell why me. I mean, I have such a healthy lifestyle. I mean, why me? And how come I did not know of it? How come I had I never heard of it? I would have done it before. I would have thought about it before. So why is there no education about it? every day i was i was just looking at myself and i mean i was just living like a zombie i was shooting i was feeling happy i mean i was showing happy i was happy also but whenever i there was nobody around me i used to only think i am not capable and when you feel that you are not capable i mean obviously the society feels that way is and the society is not behind and in the societies everybody uh, your fans your uh, relatives distant relatives immediate relatives your friends but uh, do you remember any comment from you know do you remember any comment from any of your relatives which really affected you at that time <sighs> or friends khush khabri kab de rahi ho to mujhe to i just felt that otherwise you are not happy i mean 
does that on, that that only factor makes you happy otherwise i i as a person can't make you happy so this uh, kind of uh, phrases this kind of one liners uh, was a very uh, you know it was very hurtful and uh, maybe it was out of you know happiness coming from somewhere but to a person who is trying and yeah. yet not happening it is very hurtful mujhe uh, i mean i used to feel a small remark everywhere i mean and i used to get so sensitive i mean because my treatment was going on i was going through my ivf cycles and since it is ingestion of a lot of hormones inside the body i was putting on weight and little bit but i did not put on a lot of weight but little bit weight i had put on or maybe around the stomach or something maybe i had worn a tighter outfit jisme mera stomach thoda sa dikh raha tha belly to usme likha ki uh, is she pregnant ek bada sa stomach dal ke i saw one video and mujhe aisa samajh mein nahi aata tha main iska reaction kya do people would see me in the hospital and then like tell others that yeah i mean she is expecting she is hiding how do i tell that i am not and i'm trying so right now it's not the time to ask so i mean i used to just feel very cornered very devastated and i used to feel in my space i'm just alone i want to ask you this that not many people have the um, awareness about it like you said um did you and guru try to conceive naturally many many years ago when what actually happened for which led to all these findings no huh, because it was not happening naturally that's what no i said like right now is the when people are say, people are saying that why did you plan so early the my answer is that when you when you do not conceive naturally for many years and eventually you take so, uh, take resort of uh, medical help even then it does not work for many years so you know your body is not capable yeah so that's why Uh, is is what has happened right now but obviously we uh, tried naturally and it did not happen so that's when we thought let's just take medical aid and uh, maybe doctor will be able to suggest better you know doctor will be able to suggest like whatever certain dates or and because i thought it would be that easy yeah so and we'll just sail through it you know most actresses Uh, most actresses in your position do not and still shy from speaking about all this because it's about your body the insides and the outsides um i remember in my interview 2 3 years ago uh, shilpa shetty came out and spoke about um, you know going through two three miscarriages before she could have and be- why she opted for surrogacy um similarly kajol uh, in an interview recently with um, humans of bombay she opened up about having a miscarriage during after the shoot of uh, kabhi khushi kabhi gham and there are many others who have actually opened up about the troubled times because it it does put mental uh, peace um in at stake for people did you go through those situations in life ever did you did you ever like did you ever feel that okay i am pregnant right now and i couldn't conceive and that didn't work out uh see i mean naturally it wasn't working out so after that we opted for ivf and ivf is a very complicated factor a lot of thing comes in, into consideration it is about the uterine lining it is about all the factors that is happening and and above everything god and on top of that there are times that you conceive and uh, in the in the beta hcg test it shows a certain parameter which shows that you are pregnant and then after a few day uh, the the parameter starts depleting i mean it starts going negative instead of going positive so that is again the most devastating thing that can happen because the first time it happened the doctor actually wrote to me congratulations when i showed her the my test report and i remember me and guru we were in a mall and uh when i showed when i sent her the report she told me congratulations i told guru doctor said congratulations both of us were walking in the mall as i mean thinking that we are going to become parents yeah and uh, after the next test it did not go up higher 
and in the next test it stuck got stuck there and in the next test it started coming down so it, it just feels weird you just don't know where you are you just don't know whether you should be happy whether you should be strong whether you should be you know okay no problem next time because it's not one day thing it's just happening so you just don't know what is happening to you and you want it to happen but it is not happening and uh, you don't know whether to when to tell your parents you don't know when to tell your uh, family well wishes so it's 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 a phase of life which is True. which was very weird how did you overcome it devi because uh, mm. see i'm stronger than you yeah i am not i'm not actually i am to so weak that you know the, during these conversations during the entire her story conversations i'm being honest i'm going to put it out here because it's you i can you if i feel for you people will feel that i'm feeling for a family member and i genuinely do but i felt for people who've spoken about things and i have had to cut it off because i've always had that fear ki main agar ro du to logo ko lagega ki matlab natak kar raha hai matlab natak to nahi hai i know that uh, you have been through situations and you've always tried to hide it behind a smile you know it is the most difficult thing in life i feel that when you go through such situations and you are in that public glare and you always have to smile in front of the cameras hiding your pain did it ever break you down within never in public i think uh, yeah but that is internally. what yeah that is what we are made up of i have had the the worstest phase of my life and how i said no there are so many factors there are so many scientific factors there are so many clinical factors and above all is god because everything is working fine still not happening i i i read so many comments of people saying that sab kuch acha hai sab theek hai mujhe to kuch hua bhi nahi koi problem bhi nahi but it is not happening it's the time yeah. and when when uh, all the right time matches then nothing can stop and when it is not the right time nothing can make that happen you know when you said that you got a message from um, uh, your doctor saying congratulations was that your first ivf attempt yeah that was my first ivf attempt how many attempts did you i had four i mean uh, three unsuccessful and one successful so when the first one hits you it hits you differently were you more prepared when the second and the third one didn't work out i uh, actually i mean when it was the last time we were so casual <laughs> we were actually very casual we went out on a holiday because you you can't be hit by a wave and every time react the same way you know how to react and you are like okay no problem ha huh. so we were out on a holiday we were absolutely on a chilled out mode that जो होगा वो होगा ही हम कुछ भी करें मतलब वी वॉट एवर वी डू वेदर आई स्ट्रगल वेदर आई सिट एट होम एंड काउंट मिनिट एंड काउंट डेज द आउटकम इवेंचुअली विल बी द सेम वॉट एवर इट हैपन्स वेदर आई एम ऑन फुल बेड रेस्ट और वेदर आई एम वॉकिंग बिकॉज इवेंचुअली एंड आफ्टर एवरी थिंग आई फाउंड आउट दैट प्रेगनेंसी इज नॉट अ डिजीज Yeah. It is a phase of life, and nothing. I mean, even if you lie down like a dead body, uh, straight, if it if it does not have to happen, it will not happen. And if you are active, you are wor working, you are going out for work, you are going out for a holiday, you are mentally free. You have left that burden of failure is going to hit me. you are maybe you are going to be successful i think that worked for me there there's something that uh, people say right that you shouldn't give up there are so many women who are trying day in day out to become mothers and uh, there are also women who choose not to be mothers but everybody can take inspiration from your story right at any point did you reach a breaking point because you are a person who is anxious by nature you and i are very similar that way like we read up and we can spoil things for us as when the things are not even like when things are not even that cruel around us we read so much and we only tend to read the negative this is what guru also says <laughs> that we tend to read only the negative stuff especially during covid i've seen this did you ever hit that point battling low anxiety phases i think that uh... there cannot be lower times than uh, what i have seen because it wasn't depression it was real i somehow feel depression is a phase of mind when you 
are not in a certain uh, like really pathetic situation but you are thinking that okay fine this is what is happening to me because this has happened to me before i mean i just felt that i'm unwell i'm unwell i'm unwell and i started feeling unwell and i i mean little bit of conversation or therapy helped me come out of it and i later realized that i was fine but what was happening to me was real situation it was real and those emotions were real every day was real every test was real every weight was real uh, and i i wouldn't say that it was depression it was it was a real anxiousness yeah low phase, phase of life i will say but somehow i knew i mean every time i was feeling I've, with my own life i have seen when you hit your lowest low even when you hit your high the low is going to come and when you hit your low high is going to come a life is like a wave yeah so if you feel over excited when you are in your highest point know that you're going to hit your low again today tomorrow and when you are on your low just feel happy somewhere that my high is going to come my day is going to come because that kept me going so i mean i i have faced for, for various situations these highs and lows but then when, when i was on my lowest low i was somewhere praying you know this is happening because a good day is coming acche din aayenge aur aaye kai absolutely um does it help when you go through those kind of emotional lows in life to have a supportive family supportive partner absolutely it is not worth it if you do not have a supportive partner it's not worth it because it is not your journey alone and you are not in a mission to prove that i am a woman only when i am able to do it conceive because it is not your journey alone yeah because uh, if it is your journey as a couple and uh, to i mean have a family so it is not your blame it is even if you if, because it was my problem even then i mean i never felt that i am at fault or i am at this thing it was our plan not to have a child uh, earlier in on in my life it was our plan we could have decided otherwise so it is not my alone burden that i am not able to conceive even if you are fine yeah. it could have happened the other way around for various couples but always blaming the woman or rather the woman taking it up all on herself that i am not able to you know do it it is my fault is the wrongest thing and it is not worth it if you do not have a supportive life partner and a supportive family jab bahut baar matlab you know when you try so many times and you don't get the desired results you somehow condition your mind to not really celebrate the highs so when you actually got to know that you're pregnant for the first time with liana did you how did you react uh, we've seen that small clip but how did you both react so again we were very happy we were really happy because before that uh, it wasn't uh, it, it did not show only the first time showed it was a different kind of test that happened so that we were very happy and then we knew that we are not supposed to celebrate so soon because uh, you never know uh, matlab what will happen tomorrow so we just kept it low we kept it to ourselves we like we let days pass and let more tests happen and confirm and reconfirm to a certain stage that's when we realized that yes this time it is true and it is here to stay and uh, that's when we thought that sare tension mention bhulo and let's go somewhere and we went out for a trip and because we thought that maybe this would be our last trip together after that we our trip will uh, be with three people now, now four, four. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the best part of it right the beauty of it is that um you guys always wanted wanted a complete family and it's finally nearing completion which is which is amazing what were the things that you craved was there anything that you craved eating and that you ate throughout ye hota hai na kabhi kabhi like my mother says that she craved for something else during my brother's time and she craved for something absolutely different during mine 
But I don't know. I mean, uh, I ate a little more, but I did not crave, crave for anything. So, uh, yeah, even now I have no craving, uh, which is the weirdest thing. My friends keep telling me that, how, what kind of, <laughs> you are not asking for anything. I said, because I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not having any cravings. So, last time, what the only thing that happened was that I was having a lot of heartburns and, uh, you know, uh, turmoil in the stomach and uh, constipation. I'll talk about all the things that is not to be spoken. Yeah. But uh, this time I'm, I have no craving, I have no uh, nausea, I have no heartburn, I have no constipation, I have nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's a state of, uh, you know, you must have read in divinity. Some, no, no, no. You have, you must have read somewhere that there's this college girl who delivered in the college bathroom yeah, yeah, yeah. and realized she was pregnant. So if I wouldn't have taken that test at home. I, I would have done that. Maybe I would have <laughs> I would have straight away delivered and thought, oh yeah, I was pregnant. I didn't know. Because you're seeing I'm working out. I would have thought that I'm I'm gaining, you know, postpartum Little, yeah. weight. And uh, I'm working out, I'm going out, I'm feeling fine, touch wood. But were there difficult uh, phases in your first pregnancy as well? It was difficult as in, I mean, uh, it was difficult here. The most difficult part was here and a, a lot of constipation and a lot of heartburn, whatever I was eating little more and whatever I was eating, I mean, my whole inside was burning. So those kind of physical uh, problem. But I think uh, that those are too small and negligible and can for, be avoided. For the outcome that you yeah, have. Yeah, for the outcome. But what, what were the issues that you faced here? Like? That issue was, uh, you know, the comments of people and, uh, you know, I mean, people telling that, uh, I mean, is, is this maybe the right age to have a baby and all in your later 30s? So, I mean, late 30s and uh, I mean, all the heroines, they have it like that. It's so weird and all those stuff and uh, my previous failures, all those things also was uh, you know, making me feel that maybe I don't know a lot about, I mean, what was happening with me. The more I tell people, the more uh, people will give weird advices, which is, I, I really don't know how to handle them. Yeah. So, and the relatives and everybody, they were too happy and too, you know, uh, you are like a, giving a test. <laughs> or every day you are like giving a test and you just feel ki. बस मुझे पास होना है अभी मैंने बता दिया है आंसर शीट भी बता दिया अब मुझे पास तो होना ही है मतलब इसमें कोई और गड़बड़ नहीं हो सकता सो द लास्ट फ्यू मंथ्स वर लाइक दैट बिफोर दैट आई वी वर लाइक टाइट लिप्ड द बेस्ट पार्ट इज दैट व्हेन लियाना वाज बोर्न इट वाज आल्सो द बर्थ ऑफ देबीना द मदर नाउ व्हेन यू गिव बर्थ टू योर नेक्स्ट चाइल्ड यू आर ऑलरेडी अ मदर या सो हैज लाइफ चेंज्ड has anything changed internally um, and what was the reaction what was the first thing that went in your mind when you held your baby in your hand i think me and guru both of us cried and uh, we were crying we were just holding uh, my doctor says we are crying or oh, crying out of excitement <laughs> matlab you know doctors are very practical so i i listened to her and i was like ignore ignore now it's my time to cry so that is uh, the was my first reaction and uh, you know uh, that was the first reaction because i have had a lot of struggle but immediately you, you do not feel that connect to tell you the truth so aisa nahi hai ki bachcha paida hoti you feel motherly so it happens with time and i will say one fine day i i was out of home and i just felt i want to go back home because i'm missing her and i just could not believe myself because i always felt that i'm a very solo body i mean i'm i am all about me myself my career like that matlab i never i mean i never played with toys i never played shaadi shaadi gudiya gudiya i never played cooking cooking so i mean uh, connecting with a baby it was i mean yeah you have to have a baby was the thing so when i was out and i i actually felt that i have to go back home because i'm missing her 
I, it just made me realize I'm a changed person. I mean, another time when we were seeing a film in the half, uh, I mean, interval, me and Guru looked at each other and said, Ghar chale. And Guru was like, Haan, chalo. He did not ask only anything. And we just got up and we came back home. And I think these are the things that is growing every day and that is making us feel that we have a little daughter at home. You know, co-parenting is very important in today's times, especially because women also are ambitious and they are living their ambitions. How do you divide your time between you and Guru giving time? And also your mother, because of course, mothers are the most necessary. And I know auntie and uh, I know how much. I think, I think, um, I think and I hope and pray that Liana grows up exactly to be like her grandmother because <laughs> she oh my god she's amazing Liana just might say that my mom to be her mother <laughs> I did that I do you know this yeah. I, call, I used to call in Bengali I used to call uh, my mother's nickname is Bappa so I used to call my mother Bappa Ma but I used to call my Nani Shuduma which oh is only Ma oh my god ma. yeah like, calling your and Nani Ma for, the, for a really long time till I was 7-8 years old I never called my mother Ma I feel very jealous <laughs> but uh, but uh, yeah I, I I mean somehow I feel when my mom is there at home uh, my, I, when I know that my mom is at home with uh, my baby I feel calm I don't really feel the need also to you know check on uh, the camera what is she doing because I know she's fine I mean, uh, there are times because of my situation right now there, I mean, I'm not able to cope up like holding her or maybe sp keeping up with her, you know, growing energy. But my mom is and the way she's doing it, I'm astounded. I mean, I just look at I the other day I just sat with her and I started I, I, I got a little emotional. I told her that, you know, when she's with anybody else, it's fine, but I feel very comfortable when she's just with you. So you always hold her. So my mom, always. <laughs> so I mean, I, I just feel, I just feel calm. I have no tension and I just feel that if she's there, I can, I mean, she's my mother. And she has brought me up with the rightest values and True. a balanced you know, life, a balanced mindset and she will give the same to Liana and uh, yeah, after that, me and Guru to are there only, I mean, he's very concerned. So the moment we are home, I mean, we are with her and uh, when we are out, I know my mom is there. There was a, there was, let me tell you guys, when we went to uh, meet Liana for the first time, uh -huh. there was a huge debate and she was very young. She was like, uh, Few Barely days. few days old yeah. and we were asked who does she look like, Devina or Guru? We of course didn't have an answer but now that she's growing up, who does she look like and uh, who do you think she looks more like and who does she behave more like, you or Guru? Like the behavioral uh, symptoms, kis kis jaise? She looks like uh, her dad yeah. for sure, her, yeah. she has her dad's lips and her eyes, eyes. and uh, she ha she's extremely attracted towards Guru that we have seen. I mean, even though she's stressed or she does not like something, she's sleepy. Babies are stressed when they are sleepy or hungry. So if she's stressed, she I mean, if, if Guru is there, Guru would just do this, not even show her his teeth. Guru would just do this and she will be all giving her like toothless laughter it's so beautiful to see their chemistry i mean it's I, I, they say father is the daughter's first love i yeah. can already see that we yeah. can we have already witnessed that and it's it's not i'm not joking if you come a little early before eight o'clock that's when she keeps awake so you will see that i mean she would just look at guru and she would she will give a smile. She knows she has to smile. That's true. And uh, when did you find out about your second pregnancy? Like, um, it was barely a month after you uh, delivered. Was it a difficult w a situation? Was it like a shock? Was it a surprise? What was it? I was numb when I came to know. And coming to know was also very uh, different, weird, because I was feeling slightly unwell. And... Uh, 
I came to know because I am very uh, I am very aware about my body. Lot many not many people would be aware like this. I a little bit different. I feel I uh, can understand. Also, and you think a lot. Oh, you're an overthinker. Yeah, Remember overthinker. that. So I was like, yeah, I'm thinking. I'm feeling different. And then I thought to myself that I'm feeling different. Maybe because, uh, you know, I'm tired and I've just delivered. There's a baby. There's family. So I slept over it. But when this uneasiness did not go after a few days, I told Guru. He also told me that you need to take rest. I rested, and then I was like, no, we have to find out the, you know, the reason. And I uh, bought a test kit over uh, the I, online, and uh, tested it myself. And I was, I was just so numb. I just did not know how to react. But you already I, had a. Sense yeah, of it, right? I, that's why Otherwise, I bought that yeah. uh, this thing because it was this very uneasy feeling, as if something, something was amiss, and I don't know why, but I just tested and. Uh, because so many years of my life was only around that so the first thing that will come in my <laughs> mind is that and not that i have some other bimari so i tested and i was so numb i was i was shaking shivering i could not go out of the room to call guru i called him and said come and i showed him he was also he he also did not know how to react he was like what is this what is this? I said, what is this? What What is this? See, what is this? So this is how our reaction was. And uh, I then I told my mom, the third person. And my mom was the first person who actually said, I knew this. Your, uh, the, your motherly instinct has recovered your body. So just don't worry. I am there with you. And it is Liana who has called her soulmate. So there cannot be anything more beautiful than this. So I'm there, don't worry. So next day we went to the doctor, we saw a heartbeat and we could not believe it ourselves. And that is how I think both of us sat together and I, for me it was an assurance that my body, whom I was cursing all these years, thinking that it has, I mean my body has failed me, has eventually not failed me. My body has replied back to me. And uh, the second thing that I felt was that we always wanted two children. And uh, not that everybody thinks that, you know, because I hear completes means otherwise you are incomplete. I mean, absolutely no, it's not. It's a choice. It's a choice. So our choice was to always have two kids. And when we thought, when we realized that we are going to become parents or, and, even though it is that soon, we thought, why not? And what if we plan and God do not plan according to our plan, then and good that we did not plan. And the best part was that there was no stress in life. And I think eventually that worked. But there was a lot of judgment. Were you expecting it? Did it bother you? You know, uh, it takes a lot of time for a woman to anyway lose the postpartum weight. So body shaming is, had you not been pregnant, the body shaming is unnecessary and evil. Let's, let's just be honest about it. Even with pregnancy, the, there, there, are, there is body shaming. And uh, there, there were people who were writing because for the last, for the last uh, couple of months that I did not speak out, there were people who would write that even I was pregnant along with you, I delivered and I've lost all the weight. See, you are a hero. I mean, you're like, you know, a celebrity, you are not able to lose the weight. So, I mean, these kind of uh, reactions I get. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I was pregnant. I am pregnant. So, that's why it did not really hit me that bad. But had it not been the case, it would have really hit me bad. But uh, these kind of loose comments are all over the internet. Yeah. And uh, uh, I don't think it really bothers me that much. Because uh, I think right now I have reached a, you know, zen level. A zen level and like I'm giving it back. Yeah, Sometimes I, when I feel, I just give it back. When I don't feel, I, uh, I just, I don't, I ignore. But the judgment was unnecessary. Like why so soon? Why not take a break? But did, did that affect you at all? It did not affect, affect me. But yeah, it just, I mean, I just feel that, I mean, what is it to people? 
what is it to people yeah because kind of i had assumed that these this this is the kind of route that people's judgment would take and uh, that's why i was little you know um, feeling uneasy to talk about it in the first uh, thing but then i thought you know i need to talk about it because i need so many more people who were uh, in the uh, road of only medical assistance they can also i mean i can give them this direction that when you are stress free and when you are not in any race to fulfill your body reacts and positively so i wanted this to come out uh, to people so that's why i had to come out and very soon obviously after the first 3 months but uh, i kind of knew that this is the way people would say but so harsh so rude that i i i never assumed that why so soon why you will not be able to give uh, uh, liana the love that uh, she uh, is Uh, you know she deserves and uh, you are you did it too early you i mean you were too much in a hurry and uh, you know um, you were too desperate so all these kind of things i have heard and when you hear so much i mean initially it just hits you bad and then i'm like i i mean i i it i just uh, i i mean it has developed a shell uh, you know a shell in in the sense not hiding me it has developed a shell uh, in my back that it does not hit me anymore it just hits the shell and goes but that's that's how it should be to be very honest and absolutely and uh, lastly before leaving um you have put out a video where you said uh, that you were bleeding through your first uh, trimester it is very difficult especially with whatever you have been through in all these years it's also a major concern did it ever um give you that sense of anxiety or that you know that that fear ki what if yeah 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 i was uh, very anxious absolutely i mean uh, i again i mean it's which it was a very weird feeling but you know uh, i went to the doctor when the doctor said that there's no treatment for this all that you need to do is lie down i lied down for a few days and then i went to the doctor the doctor said do you want me to hospitalize you and i was like no 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 don't hospitalize me i'll go home and rest between all these things one day i thought that i'm running around errands again ha huh? you know the external factors the human factor of it yeah so i just sat down to myself and i concentrated and i spoke to my child within and i said you have come with a miracle you have come when the no, when the world was not expect when i was even not expecting and you have come when you had to come so you must have come to stay and uh, you heal yourself you just i mean i'm too much you know getting worked up in the whole situation just do something because you only you can do it and miraculously again the whole miracle conspired and my bleeding stopped and uh, i was i was back i mean it just stopped one fine day i mean after 2 3 days of me speaking to my baby it's uh, weird and that's when i i i I'm, i'm somehow feel this time i'm so much more relaxed yeah. i'm talking to people there are people who are saying why did you say it so early why are you moving around why are you doing this why are you doing that because i somehow feel so much more stronger and i somehow feel that my body is capable and i feel the almighty and the world's biggest miracle is right there with me so nothing is going to happen so pichli bar jitne prakar ke dar the is bar wo dar to hai hi nahi there's no fear and ulta there i'm i'm more fearless and i know that there's no stopping me and if i i'll just i'll just be vocal about what i'm feeling whatever let people say i'm feeling good i'm feeling happy i will emit that and if that feeling touches a few women and they feel inspired and that will that will only help anyways absolutely and i always have seen you to believe in the power of 
um, the universe and like you said the un universe has conspired to give you a miracle uh, we are waiting for that miracle to <laughs> finally Absolutely. to finally hold that miracle in our arms we hope and pray it's a healthy baby and we sit here and we discuss and you channelize your inner power and strength to give more power to those women who really really need it today absolutely more power to them and i feel that power is within them it's just that they need to just shut their ears of the people and like i always say guys after every episode that if you can they can too if she can you can too hi this is devina bonerji and you are watching me on bollywood bubble don't forget to like share and subscribe